The Solar Decathlon is held internationally and they challenge teams to build full-size solar powered houses um, that are judged in 10 different contests. It's just a million little things. It's not necessarily that we have one energy source that just does it all and it was one change and the rest is a regular house. It's constructed wetlands, amount and the direction of every solar panel, the efficiency of all the electrical appliances, where the wires go, the plumbing, low flow fixtures. So it's just, it, it all, they all add in a tiny, tiny amount. And in the end, you get a house that someone can easily comfortably live in for years and uh, not really require energy from other sources. Communication um, and having to like really keep up that communication consistently, just letting everyone know what's going on um, is really important so that things don't fall through the cracks. Students who are in Morocco right now from the U.S., they said they've made lifelong friends there. And these students are incredible and we've learned a lot about their culture and they've learned a lot about us. So I think that's one of our, our greatest achievements. There's just so many different people uh, working on this project in different companies coming from different uh, countries that uh, at first it really doesn't seem like you're doing all that much, but after a while you spend just a ton of time researching online, talking to people, collaborating with people in different countries, and uh, I guess now it feels like, you know, we actually we really accomplished something. There was a final award ceremony for the 2019 Solid Decathlon Africa, and the Interhouse team was a first place winner. So, yeah, I'm still shaking from hearing about it. It's crazy. Yeah, I just saw one message on our on our message page that said we won, and I uh, wasn't really sure because uh, it's been a really long and difficult road. So, uh, came in this morning and we'd won. We did it.